Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Crooks209, back at you guys with another video. And today we are doing a fighter showcase on Israel Adesanya. So let's go ahead and take a look at his perks. He has a laser focus, crazy legs, frontal assault, wake up call, pay to miss, 95 punch speed, 93 punch power with a 95 kick power. His grappling stats leave a lot to be desired, but that's to be expected. Has 94 chin, 94 body health, and 96 leg health. So overall, this guy is a stand-up monster, but he's a little bit on the slower side because of his length in this game. Um, so you don't really want to be exchanging with him too much in the pocket. But he looked really good last night in the pocket against Marvin Vittori, so I don't understand exactly why that's a problem in this game, but it is what it is. So we're going up against the Vitor here. Vitor in this game is very, very quick because he is a legend. So we need to be careful with exchanging with him in the pocket. So we touch gloves right there in respect, and we immediately go to chopping those legs. In this fight, I'm going to try to set up my head kicks by chopping his lead leg. So that way it can set up the question mark kick if I want to throw it, or uh, even a back roundhouse kick. So here we're exchanging. We're not over committing too much in the pocket because Vitor can make us pay here if we make a mistake. We're just using one, one strike, one, two combinations, kicks, trying to just mix it up like Izzy would do in real life here. So you're hitting him with some good jabs. Go with the leg kick there. He almost made us pay with a hook, so we need to be careful. Now we're pressuring him back up against the cage, which is kind of where we want to be at if we're Israel Adesanya because we can use our elbows. Crack him with a good elbow right there. And now I see he's starting to move off, which is going to set up more of the leg kicks. So leg kicks me right there. But look, we're back up against the cage. He tried to pull counter. We're just feigning these kicks. Crack him with a good two-piece. Hit him with a good body kick, but he makes us pay with two strikes right there. We need to be real careful here. And we're trying to just stay patient, trying to give him the things to look at. We're feigning. We're slipping, moving our head. Good body kick right there. Good hook on his part. Good lead hook straight. Now we're just using a broken rhythm. We hit him with a good side kick right there, pushing back up to the cage. Try to go with the question mark kick, but we haven't cracked up enough leg kicks for him to bite on that. Good body kick on his part. We go down to the body with good body hooks. Hit him with a straight body kick. Try to hit that side kick, but he sidesteps it right there. Good counter on his part. He's able to slip that hook. Now we need to start using elbows as well inside this pocket because if he's slipping, that'll give us the most damage if he's not blocking his head. So here we're just trying to stay patient, using movement, giving him some things to look at like Izzy does in his real, in his real life fights. He, he does a good job at feigning and giving you different looks out of different stances to really make you think that he's... He's doing something that he's really not, and then he hits you with something that you don't expect. So that's what we're doing to Vitor here. We hit him with a good body kick, go back down to the body. Good three-punch combination to his face. He's pressuring us here, which is what he should be doing with Vitor, but he catches a straight. Good knee to the body right there. Hit him with a spinning back kick to the body. And now we're working him. You can see the, the rhythm is causing him a little bit. A little bit of a problem. He wants to fight at a little bit of a slower pace and be able to press the pace on his part. We get a beautiful leg rock right there. That means the leg kicks have been doing their job, but he's still blocking to his head, which means we need to go back down to the legs. But here we oh, good spinning elbow right there. And here we're in a ground and pound scenario. He blocks that hook, blocks another hook, and is able to get the Kimura roll on us right there. This is not where we want to be at. Luckily, we're able to block that posture up there. We need to survive for 20 seconds here on the ground with Vitor. He postures up, hits us with a good hook right there, breaking our block. We're able to post one, so we'll be able to survive and ride this round out. But man, what a good first round we had. But it could have went very, very south. Because Vitor hits like a damn truck. And that Kimura roll had us in deep, deep trouble. So we don't want to be on the ground anymore. Next time we'll just have him stand up. But here we're in the second round. I want to continue to work that leg. Because we did get a leg health event. And that hopefully that will set up uh, the question mark kick. Which is what we're, what we're looking to hit on him. So here we're pressuring him again. Going back down to the body with the straight right there. Just giving him different looks. Feigning still. Utilizing the leg kicks as well. There's another one we whiffed. He made us pay with a lead hook right there. Try to slip straight him. Goes with an uppercut. So we need to be careful here because he, now he's moving, hooking, which is brutal if you get hit by it with Vitor. So now he's putting the pressure on us here. We're exchanging. Don't really land too much. Good slip straight right there. Try to go with the leg kick. He blocks it. Uppercut hook 
on the counter hits us with a good one too our head health is really low trying to retreat to gain some space here now we need to reset hit him with a good leg kick right there but now he's back on the pressure he's feeling it he's just gonna try to step in and start throwing bombs i feel like we hit him with a good elbow get a rock try to break his block good slip on his part on the straight hit him with a good three punch combination right there and now we're back we're back resetting just trying to mix up the rhythm double jab straight right there he blocks it tries to go with the slip straight now he tries the duck i think he's expecting that question mark kick hit him with a good spinning back body kick trying to work that body now because the head health did get an event so we're mixing it up between the head legs and body now and he's kind of just he hits me with a good one two head kick right there hits us with another lead hook straight head kick my favorite combo we're able to post that hook right there which saves us we're going to be able to get out of there alive but we need to be careful because vitor is going to get on this spiral down this this downward spiral which is going to be real real shifty he hits us with a head kick knocks us down again we're able to slip that straight right there take his back but we're not rear naked choke spammers here so we let him up we bowed to him in respect he hit me with a couple good strikes i got two knockdowns in a row so now we need to be careful he hits me with a good slip hook right there knocks me down again he tries to go for the stack guard but we hit the get up right there in time so now we need to do something to get this momentum back because vitor has it all right now he slips we hit him with a good hook put him in a stun state double jab hit him with a good three punch knock him down here we are in a ground and pound scenario are we going to be able to get the dub we are that's how fast israel adesanya can get you out even when the momentum is going in your favor that's a crazy crazy first fight and with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump into the next fight of the video all right guys and here we are we're in the second fight of the video and we are going up against kevin trailblazer holland now this matchup will be a little bit easier for israel adesanya because kevin holland has the same reach as israel adesanya he's just as uh slow in in terms of speed as israel but we need to be careful of the ground game because kevin holland has a very very good uh ground game he has rubber guard and he has very good submissions so we want to be careful not to get taken down in this matchup and as you can see he is standing in southpaw. I'm standing in orthodox. So anytime he switches to southpaw, we want to go with that rear body kick like we did in the opening seconds of the round. Here we hit him with a good two-punch combination. We're mixing up that broken rhythm that we used in the last fight. He clinches us up here. We back out of it there. Tries to go for it again. Hit him with a good two-piece to stop that. Goes with a good body kick right there. Now he's trying to pressure us with the clinch here. Pop him with a good straight. We're trying to earn that respect, but he blocked the leg kick right there. So that let me know he's on to us with the leg kicks. So we're going to start mixing it up a little bit more to the body. He switches back to that southpaw stance. So we're going to try to go with the body kicks. He is able to avoid the side kick right there. We have him pressured up. Go back with the leg kick because he switched back to orthodox. So here we're taking our time, taking our time, not rushing. Just taking the room that he's given us to, to throw out some feints. And really try to get him confused. So here he switches back to southpaw again. So we're going to try to crack that rear body kick like we did right there. Hit him with a good two-piece off of the clinch right there. Hit him with a good straight as he try to go for a kick. Throws a beautiful a beautiful front kick right there. It catches me off guard. So now we're trying to jab to close the distance. Try to catch him with a knee as he went down to the body. Didn't do too much damage. But look, he's feigning that front kick. So that's something that I need to be aware of. He's switching stance again here. Hits us with a good straight, clinches us up, goes with the body punches, smart on his part. Whiffs that body kick. We should have made him pay, so we clinch him up right here. Going with some strikes to the body. Hit him with a good jab hook right there. Tries to go with the uppercut. Luckily, we weren't going to the body. Tries to catch us with that front kick again as we close the distance, but we're not having that body kick again because he is in southpaw. Now we're moving. We're trying to reset here, feigning utilizing footwork to to make him think that we are trying to close the distance here but he's staying back up against cage good leg kick check on his part look at my leg health he's only checked two or three kicks and my leg health is already as low as it is so we need to be careful with throwing those but now we're giving him room hit him with a good calf kick right there as he's moving out to our outside of our lead leg and he's switching stances frequently so he's giving me different looks so i need to be 
I need to pay attention because Kevin Holland does have that that spinning back head kick that's kind of glitchy in this game. So we need to be real aware of that. So we're working him, hit him to the body. We're not doing too much damage to the head, but I want to set up the damage to the head by working the body. Try to hit him with a four piece. He's able to slip a couple of those strikes, hits us with a good body kick. Now he's feigning these leg kicks, so I need to be careful on that as well. Tries to go with the front kick, but we counter it with the straight. Tries to pop us with the front kick, and that is the end of the first round. Very back and forth technical first round on both of our parts. He's switching stances. We're cracking his leg and his body really well. You just need to be careful of those front kicks because now he's starting to throw them with more volume. So here we are in the second round here. He wanted to touch gloves, so we touched him up. Now he switches to southpaw immediately. And now we're just trying to take our time. Throwing out feints. He's throwing out feints. Try to hit him with a spinning elbow, but luckily he was clinching, so it kind of gave him a little bit of a vulnerability right there. All right, and now we have him back up against the cage. He's threatening to hit with the body kicks. But we're pressuring him with the jab, ripping his body when we get him up against the cage. Good leg kick right there. Hit him with a jab as he returns with a leg kick. Try to hit him with the question mark kick, but it ain't working. Now he's switching in between stances very frequently. So we go with the switch kick right there because I thought he was going to exit out to his right. So here we're cracking the block with the, with the jab, with the straight. Trying to catch him, making a mistake. He's able to beautifully slip that slip hook that we threw at him. And now he has us up against the cage. We need to watch for the takedowns because Kevin Holland has very good jujitsu in this game. Try to go with the body kick, but we whiff. He clinches us back up, pushes us back up to the cage, catches us with a good knee right there. Tries to go with a jab hook, but we block it, go down to the body, hits us with a good knee. We exchange right there. Go with the jab straight, body kick. And now we're just resetting. Trying to mix it up a little bit. Trying to put a little more pressure on him. I don't think either one of us landed damage because his leg was up off that knee. Tries to go with the slip hook, but we're not having it. Hits it. Tries to go with the front kick. I don't know how it didn't land, but we got the straight off. Hit him with a good back body kick right there. Now we throw a body teep, but he catches it. Tries to go with the head kick, but luckily we're able to block it. Goes with a nice body kick right there. I did not expect that. Jab straight body kick to respond. Goes with a beautiful head kick right there. And now... We're resetting, trying to give him a little bit of room, trying to let our head health go back up here. But now he's doing a better job at mixing up the kicks. He's gone to the body and to the head, and then with a leg kick right there, we try to respond with a body kick. He hits us with a good timed uppercut. Try to catch him with a front kick, but he's not having it as well. Go with the spinning back body kick, but he does block it. But we have him up against the cage, hit him with a good side kick, but it goes with a nice uppercut right there to the body. Try to kick him to the body again. But he backs us up to the cage. Catch him with a good three-punch combination. Knock him down. And here we are. We're in the clinch. We back him up to the cage. I didn't throw any knees at him just because I wanted to reverse the position. I wanted to put him back up against the cage. But he circles out nicely right there. But now we got him hurt. We haven't gotten a leg health event, but we did get that knockdown right there. So it's going to make him question whether to exchange with us in the pocket. So now that his leg health is or his head health is a little bit lower. I'm sorry. So here he clinches us back up again. Tries to go with two hooks. I don't know, thinking that we're going to slip, but we're not going to slip from that distance. Goes with a nice calf kick right there. Try to respond with a two-punch combination. Beautiful body kick on his part. Now the round is coming to an end. He might throw something a little bit crazy, but it doesn't look like it. And that is going to be the end of the second round. Now we got that round because we got the knockdown, but... Our leg health and our head health and our body health are starting to go down. So we need to be very, very careful that we don't exchange at a bad time and get rocked because Kevin Holland could just take us down and get us with a sub. Beautiful body kick on the open for him. <clears throat> so here we're pressuring him, trying to trying to get him to make a mistake. Just throwing one, two strikes, not really opening up with four punch combinations. Just slowly but surely chipping away at his block. He misses on the body kick right there. We make him pay with a straight. So here, we're trying to use the elbows inside the pocket. Hit him with a good two-piece right there. Back out. Let our stamina reset. And now he's back up against... He's going to be back up against the fence here, which is where we want him. Hit him with a good leg kick right there. Rip to the body because he's not blocking it. Uppercut body hook. And now we're resetting. Catch him with a beautifully timed front kick right there. Going down to the body because I know he's going to be moving his head. Try to hit him with a question mark kick, but he blocks it. Hit him with a good straight off that knee that he attempted right there. 
Now, we're, we're trying to apply the pressure to get Kevin Holland out of there, but we don't want to rush it because we don't want to get taken down. So we're feigning still. We're giving him some room to, to quote-unquote, hang himself here. Hit him with a good body kick right there. We're able to major lunge out of the way of that uppercut. Reverse the position. Hit him with a good body kick right there. Now we're trying to slip off. He's trying to throw that uppercut, so we need to be careful. Hits us with a good hook. Now he's going with elbows in the pocket, too, so we need to be aware of that. Good one-two on his part. Try to respond back with a four punch, but whiff all the strikes. Try to go with a spinning the back elbow. Misses. He switches back to southpaw here. Hit him with a good leg kick. He goes with a body kick that lands beautifully right there. Hit him with a good side kick, pushing back up against the cage. But now the pace is starting to pick up. Hit him with a good lead hook, straight head kick. Try to go with the spinning back heel kick to the face, but we do not land it. He's still rocked, moving him back himself back up to the cage here. Hitting him to the body, mixing it up, body head. Hit him with a good calf kick right there. He clinches us back up again right here. Pushes us back up to the cage. Now, we don't want to take any strikes to the head here. We reverse the position here. Catch his leg on the body kick. Tries to go with the flying knee right there. It doesn't happen. But now we have him in all sorts of trouble because we're rocking him to the head repeatedly. Hit him with a good four-piece right there. Knock him down. Here we are in a ground and pound scenario again. Are we going to be able to get the dub? It looks like we are absolutely beautiful fight tech super technical fight against a kevin holland this was one of the more uh this is one of the more fun showcases that i've done because it really really made me uh it really made me have to be more technical because izzy you can't just walk forward and be super aggressive so i had a fun time doing this let me know if you guys like this video in the comment section if you did make sure to drop a like on the video um and as well as let me know in the comment section what fighters you guys want to see me do showcases with next and if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button i do make content regularly as well as stream at least two times every day but all right guys until the next video thank you guys for stopping by and have a good rest of your day